<clears throat> that was the unit I dispatched to capture Fumio Fukumachi. They're being assaulted by the Giver One, so I highly doubt they'll be able to hold out much longer. I don't suppose that should come as much of a surprise, should it? I'll take a team of zoonoids and head to the scene right away. Just a moment, sir. Huh? With all due respect, you're still only a humanoid, Master Egito. If we send you with a team of Japanese branch zoonoids, the results won't be good. Commander, we're far better suited to deal with the Giver. Why don't you let us handle this instead? Very well. Feel free to show the Giver One the full power of the Lost Number Commandos. Sir! Agito, proceed with the plan to destroy Fukumachi's way of life. Do whatever you can to break him down. Sir. Hmm. So that's how it is, huh? You're surprised, aren't you? Of course I'm surprised. I, uh... I mean, I'm surprised, but the situation is pretty extreme. The truth is, I'm really just feeling sort of overwhelmed. You know? Overwhelmed? Is that all? What's wrong with that? Just because I'm not freaking out doesn't mean I'm not worried. Sorry. Tetsuro, I wish you would have told me all this sooner. Sho's been risking his life to protect us, and I didn't even know. Yeah. It's just... The thing is... Sho didn't want you to find out. More than anybody else, he didn't want you to know about him. Well, you know, he's got a pretty big crush on you. And I don't want to hear you tell me you didn't know, either. I never saw him like that. I mean, we've been friends for so long, I never even thought about it. I know it's a bad time, but I wanted you to have at least some idea of how Sho felt, too. <laughs> making a big mistake. I can't take it. Please! The pain! No! No more experiments! He's right. I don't think we can take this crap much longer. I've had enough of them screwing around with me day in and day out. Like I'm some kind of lab rat. It's sick. of this because our optimizations failed. We have to suffer because they made us into freaks of nature. Can't replicate our forms. Those bastards have never given us the same treatment as other zoonoids. There's no guarantee that we'll survive the fight with the Giver. Are you both prepared for that? We're willing to take that risk, right? This is our chance. If we can defeat the Giver, then Commander Gyo will recognize our abilities. We'll finally get the respect we deserve. Then finally, we'll be able to leave all of this pain and disgrace behind. Let's do this. <laughs> If I take out the driver, I might end up hurting Dad! What's going on?! <laughs> I gotcha! Is this another kind of Zoonoid? Surprised? By liquefying his body, he can combine with the Earth around him and manipulate the battlefield to give his allies a decisive edge in combat. Only Dime is capable of such power. What? Now you're facing the lost numbers, Giver. It's a whole new game. Huh? It can't be! Another Giver? So that means there were four? Not a bad likeness, don't you think, Giver One? <laughs> Two Givers are fighting each other? I think I know just what to do with you. I'm gonna let you see what it feels like to be torn apart by your high-frequency arm blades. 
Just like all the solenoids you murdered. Die! Shit! Solem! What? What is this stuff? I can't move my arm. <laughs> As you can see, my saliva bonds and assimilates with organic tissue. Once it hardens and forms itself, you won't be able to move at all. It's no use. Give it up, kid. By this point, that stuff might as well be part of your body. If you keep struggling like that, you're gonna rip your own arms off. You get it? Damn it! What do I do now? This is our fight. I won't allow you to interfere. <laughs> Let's see you get out of this one, Giver One. No. Be easy now, let's not do anything rash. Someone might get hurt. At my command, Dime can crush your little friend to pieces and dissolve his bones to dust. Cowards! Call us whatever you want! No good. I've gotta think. Let's see. How about I take off that head of yours? <laughs> Giver, listen up! Don't let him intimidate you. I don't care how powerful Kronos is. They still can't control the bio-armor. <sighs> he may look like a Giver, and he may have the same weapons, but he's nothing but a cheap imitation. <sighs> he's right. He doesn't have the control medal. Now I get it. They tried to disable my attacks because they're afraid I'm stronger. So you finally figured it out, huh? Well, I hate to break it to you, but it doesn't matter if I'm a Giver or not. With Somnum and Dime disarming your weapons, you're no match for us at all! I have no choice. Dime! Release them immediately! Commander, kill! Release them! Now die! Dime! What happened? What? You're gonna tear the flesh off your own arms? You're a bigger fool than I thought! I have to... If I'm... If I'm defeated here, then who's gonna save my father? I can't give up! Because if I lose to you, then who's gonna protect my friends? You don't understand! This is all I have! My fight is a fight I can't afford to lose! Subloom! Uh, dime, you idiot! Why the hell did you let them go? No! Wait! This is all wrong! Secured Fumio Fukumachi and the Segawa siblings. The operation is a success. Withdraw immediately. But Commander, I can't turn my back now after he's slaughtered I my- I said withdraw! Somnum, Dime, forgive me. This isn't over yet. I swear. I swear I'll avenge you no matter what. You may have defeated my men, but you fell right into our trap. We've captured your father and the Segawas, so our mission was a success in spite of you. What did you say? So it wasn't just Dad. Those bastards went after Miski and Tetsuro, too. <laughs> Damn it. Dad, Tetsuro, Miski, now they're all gonna die. This is all my fault. If I had known it would turn out like this, I wouldn't have taken it this far! I should have given up. After all this, is that really how you feel? <gasps> Come on, Sho. Stand up. Who are you? How do you know my name? 